Hi, I'm Peggy Compton, the University of Wisconsin Extension Basin Educator in Southwest Wisconsin. If you're interested in becoming a stream monitor, you might find yourself asking the question, how do I know where to monitor? Chris Stepanek, the coordinator of Wisconsin's Volunteer Stream Monitoring Program, is here to offer guidance into site selection. Chris? When selecting your monitoring site, there are several things to consider, including location, legal issues, and safe access. Streams that are monitored in the WAVE program should be less than four feet deep, and a site is defined as 300 feet of stream measured in as straight of a line as possible. If you're monitoring at a bridge crossing, monitor upstream of the bridge where water quality is not affected so much. Oftentimes, people monitor a stream that's on their property or which has special meaning to them. That sounds good, but what if I don't have a stream on my property or I don't really have a stream that I'm particularly interested in? In that case, you could work with a local, county, or state natural resources professional or inquire in your area to see if there's a volunteer monitoring network that could help you select a suitable site. That sounds great. You mentioned legal issues. So what are the legal issues that stream monitors would need to be concerned about? That's a good question. Most importantly, if the site is on private land, you need to have landowner permission to access the site. And it's a good idea to get that permission in writing. OK, good tip. And what about safety? Stream monitors certainly need to stay safe. Sure. On the first visit to your site, you want to make sure that it's safe to enter the site. Check the depth of the water and also the substrate. Are the rocks slippery? or is there muck that you might sink into. And then on every visit, you always want to make sure that the water level is safe, check for poisonous plants, and also for slippery banks. And of course, it's always important to go with somebody else and let someone know where you're going. Those are great tips for stream monitoring. And is there anything else that you'd like to offer in terms of information for stream monitors who are choosing the site that they will monitor? Well, basically, the more familiar you are with your site, the better you can assess if changes have occurred there over time. Plus, you never know what you might find. So before begin, you begin monitoring, you should consider going for a walk at your site and seeing what it has to offer. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go.